Good evening friends, this is a small video on the topic impedance matching. The subject is microwave and radar engineering. The topic name is impedance matching and the subtopic is single stub matching. In single stub there are four types. First is series open, series close, parallel open and parallel close. I will be performing each of one of series and parallel and then explaining you the shortcut or the unique step to be done in the other so the question what I have what is we have the load impedance as 100 plus J80 we have characteristic impedance as 50 and it is given that it's a series open circuit so always remember this funda when it's a series stub I will just show the graph what exactly you mean by 0 and 0.25 here you can see it's 0.25 written and here you can see it's written 0 this 0.5 uh, we get is 0 so for series step 0 is the short circuit as in case and 0.25 the open circuit for parallel step 0.25 will be short circuit let me put the symbol Point of a will be short circuit and zero will be the open circuit. Let's go. So keeping that in mind, we'll start first start the sum. So I have just drawn a simple circuit model. This is my input. This is my input. This is the length of the stub. Here it is. This is I've taken this open circuit as the question has demanded. This is the input impedance. Address. this is the distance D and this is my Z now as usual first we need to go to the normalization method I just normalize 100 plus J80 here I got I got 2.16 so I just first plot it so this is 2 and this is 2 and here here comes 1.6 so this is the point so 2 plus I just named it ZL so, okay now once I do that once you do that once you do that place a compass one end at the center and draw the VSWR circle with the length as the normalized impedance I, I'll show this point again this is 2 and this is 1.6 okay now what's the next step i need to first find the distance from the load where i have the stub so how to calculate that always remember this direction is towards load this is w towards load and this direction is towards generator what we have came across while we were solving C wavelength towards generator and wavelength towards load. So I am going from load to the open circuit. So I am moving towards generator. So first for that what I do is once I draw the VSWR circle I first mark two points on either side of the real axis which cuts z equals to one circle so here is my one circle and here is my other other point once i do that as i am going from load to generator from i'm going from load to generator you can go either way but i know the load so i'm going from load to generator so what i would i will doing is from generator it is towards generator this direction so from this i need to go in this direction so this is z1 and if i go this it's z2 and always remember we get we should take the smallest value possible so if i go in this direction because i'm going towards generator from the load i'm going from the load i'm in the diagram from the load i'm going towards generator so from the load i need to go towards uh, you can show the diagram see here towards generator so i need to go down so I've marked this, I have marked this. 
so let's see how much is this value here we have marked this and here we have one so 0 0.326 minus 0 0.21 let's see this is 0 0.21 point see you can see here and always remember the generator is an out inside so we need to check the outer value it is 0 0.21 and if i come here it is 0 0.328 0 0.326 so 0 0.326 minus 0.21 it is what the distance I get so it is like 0.166 lambda now I want to find the length of the stub how should I find the length of the stub so I have just cut this portion you don't need to cut uh, during exams if you solve this I just cut this portion I have placed it here so sh to show exactly what it is now if this is my input impedance this is what will be my load and then output circuit now it's my choice to go from input impedance to the load or from load to the input impedance so if you're going from input impedance to the load you are going towards the load and if you're going from load to the input impedance you're growing you're going towards the generator so as i know this is a series stub for series my zero so 0.25 is open circuit and zero is short circuit so what i have to what i am well, easy technique because i know my open circuit i need to go towards generator so for that for that we use a technique of cancellation of reactants as i have selected this point i need to find the susceptance or conductance or reactants at this point so i i take this down here so it gives me as 1.4 as it is a reactance in the lower half and it is minus uh, it should be minus because we measure lower half as capacitance so it is minus j1 j1.4 to cancel it we should have a stub which can only give us always remember stub should give you real values if it has any of the imaginary values it should be nullified or altered or to be cancelled to do that i have got this distance at this distance i would be getting a reactance of minus j1.4 and to make my response stable i need to get this 1.4 rid of so i will select a point 1.4 here and would draw a line from center of the smith chart across it so i this is my zn because this is what i want and i know my open circuit so i would be try and i am going towards generator i'll show it again from open circuit towards the zn it's towards generator so from open circuit all the way i need to go travel this till here so technique what is the basic because uh, many people what they do is they, they take this value and they measure this much it's really really tedious what a basic technique is this hole we know it's 0 0.5 0 0.5 i remove the lower half and then i will remove this so i'll just show you it's 0 0.5 now you can see here it is 0.1 so we need to calculate this length so what i've done is i have taken this 0.5 completely i have removed this part and i have removed from here to say 1.52 0 0.152 sorry so i have 0.5 out of 0.5 i'll i have removed the lower half and out of which i have removed 0.125 the remaining is 0 0.402 uh, lambda so we have now generated a sing single stop series open circuit now if in exam you are given the value of frequency say 500 gigahertz or 3 gigahertz 5 gigahertz what the technique is we know lambda we know lambda is equals to c by f c is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meters per second frequency whatever it is given calculate value given calculate value of lambda and then find the actual length 
Now the twist is some people get confused what to do if it comes series short circuit. Nothing to worry. In series short circuit, I told you the golden rule. If it's a short circuit, then what to do? Cool. As we have, we know that for series, my 0.25 is open circuit, and my zero is my short circuit. This is my short circuit. So, if at all, this is I'll just draw one more diagram to show how to do it. So, if this is my ZL, which is a short circuit, and this would be my ZN. So, I would prefer coming down. That is, I am coming from load to in. So, it's, it's towards generator. Towards generator is this direction. So, short circuit is here. From zero to 0.152 so so my length would be 0.152 lambda for series uh, series short circuit stuff we just to you just need to remember this this if it's series stuff zero as short circuit 0.25 has open circuit and for parallel it's vice versa. Thank you.